Hello, and welcome to Marking a Successful Repossession in the ALSR Portal. In this lesson, we will take a step-by-step -step approach to marking a vehicle. The condition reporting for our company is detailed. Please make sure that you have everything necessary to complete the condition report with you before you begin. To start the lesson, we will begin inside of an already accepted case. Scroll down the screen until you reach a section labeled Open Actions Assigned to Agent and choose Successful. Once this option has been selected, we will begin the marking process by choosing a storage facility for the recovered vehicle. If the storage facility you need is not located on this list, choose to create a new storage facility. If you need to have a storage facility removed because it is no longer used, please contact us so that we may remove it on ours. Once you have selected the preferred storage facility, your next step will entail leaving any pertinent notes for the client or administrators on the case. As this case is a demonstration, we will enter in this note category that this vehicle was recovered at a Walmart in Charlotte, North Carolina, where we're based, at 1234 North Elm Street, which is a completely fictitious address. Next will upload any files or images that are required for the vehicle. From there, we'll move on to step three, which is selecting an auction. If the collateral is in the custody of another auction house, go ahead and find that auction house here in the list. The houses are listed in order of alphabetical state code. I will choose a Charlotte auction. If you have a set of keys for this vehicle, Click the box that says Working Set of Keys, but again for this demonstration, as this case is an involuntary repossession, I'll say that we don't have keys. Next, we'll input what year the vehicle is, the make, which will be Ford, uh, model, which will be Explorer, style, we'll say XLT, primary color, we'll say is white. And next, we'll move on to our odometer reading. Uh, for this example, we'll say that there is 85,000 miles on the odometer. Next, we'll continue on to Section C, which lists out safety problems for the vehicle. For this example, again, we're going to say that this vehicle has no safety problems. So we will go down. If there's any general damage, we'll input that information here. Uh, for this example, again, I'm just going to go ahead and say that there is no damage to speak of. Next, in Section E, we'll begin marking bubbles which discuss as to whether or not the vehicle is in good shape and if the vehicle has any aftermarket parts or if there's anything that maybe is missing or has never been equipped. So we'll say that, for the most part, a lot of these things are equipped, they are factory, and we'll say for these last few that a couple of them are never equipped. Next, we'll move on to tire condition. For this example, we'll say that all of the tires are fair. Glass condition, we'll say that all of the glass for the vehicle is okay. The external condition, we'll say that pretty much all of these items are okay as well. Again, this is just a demo case. Understandably, this will take a bit longer when you're doing this with an actual vehicle. So again, please try and set aside as much time as necessary to make sure that all of these boxes are checked and marked completely and as accurately as possible. We'll say that the top is faded. For personal property, I'll say that uh, we found a pair of shoes and a trumpet. As I play the trumpet, and there's almost always at least something in a vehicle that's being repossessed. Next, we'll move on to police reporting data. For this, we'll input the department name of the police department that we're reporting this information to. We'll input a fictitious address, and we'll say that that is 345 Main Street. City, we will say is again Charlotte. State, 
This is again North Carolina. Zip code, uh, Charlotte zip code, 28216. Uh, the date that this vehicle was reported as repossessed, we will say that that is the 8th time reported. Please make sure that you're using 24-hour format. This does differ from military time. Please make sure that you're using the colon whenever differentiating between the hours and minutes. Next, we'll move on to putting in a phone number. Please make sure that you are using a 10-digit code for this. If there are any notes or any badge numbers for any police officer that you've spoken with, then put that information in the notes section. Next, we'll move on to pickup and current location of the collateral. So we will go ahead and say that again, this vehicle was picked up at a fictitious address in Charlotte, North Carolina. And the zip code, again, we'll say is 28210. Uh, if there are any special notes about the pickup location, you can enter that here. If you don't have any notes about the location, go ahead and leave it blank. Next, we'll input a recovery time. From there, we'll move on to inputting tag information for the vehicle. So for this vehicle, we will say that that tag is BDR234. State, we'll say again it's North Carolina. And we'll say that they're up to date on their tags, so they expire in 2018. Next, we'll move on to a section that's specifically for our New York agents. This is when you'll need to make sure that you have a completed DMV form, MV327. If you need help with this form, please contact our transport team. But for the basis of this video, we'll go ahead and move forward to any charges for the customer. Days of free storage are generally always zero unless you've made an agreement with the debtor for another reason. We'll input a daily storage fee, a personal property fee, a redemption fee. Uh, the government fees and taxes will always be zero. Please make sure that you read through our acknowledgments and go ahead and input the amount that you'll be billing for this vehicle. Also, input an invoice number. Please make sure that your invoice numbers are always unique. And once you've done so, update the case is successful. From here, you'll notice that in the messages that it says this vehicle is recovered and that you have a 10-day clock to hold on to this vehicle. Return to your case list, and you'll note that this vehicle is now waiting for you in the Transportation Manager section to be transported. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch with our team so we can try and work out any issues that you might be having with marking a vehicle.